Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, about complex number. To be specific, we are going to discuss about Argon diagram and also polar form of complex number. Alright, let's start by looking at one example of complex number. Negative 4 plus 2i. By now, you should have known that this i is actually equal to square root of negative 1. So what does that mean? If let's say you need to rewrite this number, uh, I mean complex number, you can rewrite it as negative 4 plus 2i. Then, what is Argon diagram? And how does that relate it to a complex number? Okay. So, Argon diagram is a representative of this complex number in a graph form. Okay, let's look at this graph. Uh, it's a normal graph. Uh, we have x-axis and y-axis. How to represent this complex number into a graph? It's actually very simple. What you should know, or what you, what you know, what you have to know is this negative 4 is the x coordinate uh, on the graph and these two here is the y coordinate on the graph so if let's say we need to find this coordinate x negative 4 is somewhere here okay and then y 2 is somewhere here and then you look at the meeting point it's actually here when you connect this coordinate to the origin this is what we call an Argon diagram. What do we get from this Argon diagram actually? There are two things that you can actually get from the Argon diagram. The two things we call, the first one is modulus or it's actually R. Okay, and the, the second one is argument. or we call it as theta in this case. What is actually modulus and an argument? Modulus is a distance from the origin to the coordinate that we plotted just now. So what does that mean? You are looking at this r. How do we actually find that r? If you can actually see here, this is actually a triangle. Alright? A triangle like this. And this is the R that you are looking for. And this one is the 4. And here is 2. So how do you find the R? You are using the Pythagoras theorem. 4 square plus 2 square square root. What you will get here is 4.472. How about the argument? How do you actually find the argument? So the argument, again, you can use the trigonometry. What does that mean? Let's say the angle here is psi. <coughs> oh, let me explain to you first what is argument. Argument or theta is the angle from positive, oops, positive x-axis to the line. So this is theta. So in order for you, in order for us to find this theta, you have to know the internal angle here, or I, we represent it as psi. All right. So how do you find the psi? Use the tangent. Tangent psi equal to two over four. So you will get psi equal to twenty six point five seven. So in this case, the argument for negative 4 plus 2i is, is 26.57 degree. Sorry guys, uh, our argument is not 26.57 because 26.57 is the psi value. All right? So our argument will be I just want you to uh, look at this one again. 
argument is the angle from the positive x-axis to the line. So that means uh, the angle there will be 180 minus 26.57 which is equal to 153.43. Okay? Alright? Please be clear. Argument must be the angle from the positive x-axis to the line. Okay? So the next question could be, how does this argument, I mean modulus and argument that you get from the argon diagram is related to polar form? How does, what is the relationship between argon diagram, modulus and argument, and polar form? Let's look at what is polar form first. Polar form is actually uh, an equation, and the equation is R cos theta. This is the equation, yeah? R cos theta plus R sine theta i. Let's look at what will happen if we uh, substitute the value of R and theta that you found just now using the argon diagram into the polar form equation. The equation will be 4, the R is 4.472 cos the angle you found just now is 153.43 uh, degree plus 4.472 sine 153.43 degree I. When you can use your calculator and then you can actually find the answer. When you simplify this, the answer will be like negative 4 plus to I. So can you see the relationship now? From the original complex number, which is negative 4 plus 2I, you translate it into argon diagram. From there, you can find the modulus and argument, and then you get the you you put the you take the modulus and argument value and put it into polar form and you get the original equation again. So, basically, polar form is how do you convert the modulus and argument you get from the argon diagram into complex number. I hope you are clear with the relationship between argon diagram and polar form. About the application of this, we are going to discuss it in the next video. Okay? Alright.